Sean Johnson is a name that's been synonymous with the Warriors for the past eight years, but no more. The National Rugby League Club today released the Kiwis halfback from the final year of his contract, ending his dream of being a one-club NRL player. The move has been brewing for the past month after Johnson learnt while he was away with the Kiwis on their recent tour of England that he wouldn't be offered a contract beyond 2019. Sports editor Stephen Hewson reports. Johnson decides to come back in field. Johnson gets dancing. Johnson no way. No way. Johnson has run over to score. This is incredible. This is ridiculous. Sean Johnson's a mercurial player capable of turning a match on its head. Sublime one moment, but missing in action the next. And the Warriors have obviously decided the 28-year-old can't take them to a much sought-after NRL title. The club's chief executive Cameron George met with Johnson yesterday and says it was clear Johnson didn't want to stay next year. I saw evidence yesterday in our meeting of an individual that didn't want to represent this club in 2019 and asked accordingly. So based on that, we're not jeopardising what we've got in place here and that's not being disrespectful to Sean. That's his choice. My choice is to protect what we have here. After eight years at the Auckland club, George accepts that fans will find it difficult seeing Johnson go. It's very hard for our fans to accept that Sean's leaving the club and it's hard for the club to accept that, but we weren't going to jeopardise our progress going forward. It's something they need to trust the club with, that we're doing what's right for the club and its future and ultimately getting the best results we can. The former Warriors coach Tony Kemp was reticent to say whether he felt it was the right move or not to jettison Johnson, but believes the club's handled the matter poorly. He spent three weeks post the, the semi-finals in New Zealand, never got a word said to him and, and then picks the paper up in the England and finds out that he's free to go and check out the market, which basically says you're not getting paid what we're, we're offering you uh, the next time around. So. It's a, it's, I think it was a fake complete. I think, I think they've, they've got their eye on someone um, to, to, to get that person. They've had to move Sean. Uh, they've made a calculated decision that, that the future is with this new halfback that's coming in. And I reckon within 24 hours, 48 hours, you will find out who that halfback is. Chief Executive Cameron George disputes Johnson's version of events that he wasn't kept informed, saying his agent was told in mid-September the club wasn't intending to offer him a contract beyond next year. And he says coach Stephen Kearney also spoke to Johnson while he was on tour with the Kiwis. In the end, Tony Kemp believes leaving the Warriors may be the best thing for Johnson's career. Sean will probably go to a, a decent club and, and, and good on him. I think he's a definite chance of probably picking up a premiership somewhere else, you know, because he's a marquee player. He's got to be ranked in the top two halfbacks in the competition at the moment with Cooper Conk and Jonathan Thurston with Tyree. So, you know, from Sean's perspective, it's not a bad move. Cronulla and Parramatta are being touted as likely new clubs for Johnson, while Parramatta halfback Mitchell Moses is believed to be the front runner to replace Johnson in Auckland. But Cameron George is adamant they won't be rushed into making a decision, despite the season kickoff being a little over three months away. We are going to rush into what we think is just a necessity. We are going to find the right person to fulfil the roles that we require to get the best chance to win this competition. And that takes good planning, good measurement, good considerations and then many options. And I can tell you the phone's been running hot. Sean Johnson leaves the club as its record point scorer with 917 points from 162 appearances. For Checkpoint, Stephen Hewson.